Um, hello, Dr. Costa. How are you? Thank you so much for being on my show. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor for me to be here in your show, Angela. Fantastic, fantastic. What can I say? I see your curriculum and I'm so speechless and impressed. You are director, producer, cinematography, and you won more than 300 international awards. Yeah. What beautiful. Yeah. And also you hold a doctor's degree in arts and you graduate yeah. from the University of Porto since 2018. Yes, so exactly. I'm so exactly. speechless, you know, and why can I say doctor's degree? And also you work as a research. How, why in arts? What is, what, what was your decision to pursue a doctor's degree in arts? Yeah, uh, basically I, I work in arts for a lot of time. Even when I was a young kid, I, I practice a lot music. I learned to piano when I was probably six years old. So it's for so, so long time that I work in this field of, of, of art. So in tw uh, 2000, I started doing my first degree. And then uh, after that, I wanted to learn more and more because I'm also a lot of, uh, I'm really curious about everything. So I did my second degree in cinema and uh, then I did my master's degrees and finally, and like you said, I did the, the PhD in, in art. So this is something that's from my roots. So I love arts and so that's why I did all of these things in, related to art. Fantastic, fantastic. In addition to your doctor's degree and, and academic, academic curriculum that you perform in, you also member of the Academic Committee National Creative Arts Foundation in California. And also yeah, you are exactly. also participate as a as a jury board. Actually, you were the main 31st in Rosachi International Film Festival in India, right? If I'm not a mistake. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. So it's you true. are up also, and down. Yes. Yeah. Also, I am the artistic director of a, a big festival in Morocco. It's mm. called uh, the International Festival uh, Commune of Nador. So it's a, a great festival, a film festival. So I'm also artistic director. And, and usually I'm also invited to be jury member in several film festivals around the world. And also you own a company. Um, yeah. Yes. That's... It's, it's, a it's a production company from Portugal. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, it's... It, it has more or less six years old uh, and we do a lot of things, a lot of projects. We do a lot of collaborations, not only national, but internationally. And in fact, we are now inviting several uh, projects from United States, from India, from Morocco to, to shoot in Portugal and in Europe because we have the, the connections with these people uh, in uh, this country. So we it's quite easy for us to to bring projects to shoot in Portugal or in other countries from Europe. So congratulations for your achievement, Dr. Uh, yeah. Costa. That's fantastic. And just for, for those people that are watching us and listening to our interview, you have over 18 credits uh, in television series, short films, even there was a Parede feature film. You were a director and also part of the writers and with yeah. 10 awards and also um uh, oh, more, um, more. that that movie uh, has more or short. less 50 you know it's a feature film it mm -hmm. has more than 50 international film awards oh 15 already awesome and also there's a yeah. famous yes famous actor antonio capello for those people that are yeah, following yeah. him yes yeah, he's a, a big actor here in Portugal. He's really known here. It's it does a lot of television, a lot of uh, cinema. So he's one of the big actors that we have here in our country. The so Mystery really of the Time uh, TV series, very famous for those yeah, people that yeah. they watch that television series, and also the Club of Angels. No, but what can I say? Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, he, he's That's... a big, big actor. Yeah. Yes. And a good yes. Friend. And, and the feature film is in, in Amazon and wh where we can find it? Uh, now we are, at the moment, we are uh, 
going to have some meetings with other uh, companies so my idea is now to put it in some platforms but for now uh, it's not in any platform uh, because we had to remove it but uh, in the near future will be in some platforms fantastic it's a film based on true facts about domestic violence and bullying very you know yeah. very beautiful yeah beautiful you know in the sense like as something we can learn from it this is not yeah. a hard yeah. topic yes and it's important to to make people think about these topics because usually people don't think about this and that's why i did that movie uh, when i did because it's important and me as an artist as a, a film director it's important to show my point of view and to make people break this bad things that happened in bullying and domestic violence so that's why i did this this movie it's, this is a really important movie and people really love it because it's really it's really a dance movie it talks a little uh, a lot about everything about the topics and in some topics about for example domestic violence about the high society because usually people think that domestic violence is only for the the lower classes uh, in the society but no even the high society has a lot of these things so that's why this movie got so so big and so all around the world and people really like the movie yeah it's fantastic and thanks for bringing to mention that dr costa because a lot of people have in mind that bullying for example is affecting only for children and teenagers but also work environment yeah, there's a lot yeah. of that and neighbors and you in so many places the bullying is impacted Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's true. And, and, and it's important uh, that people start thinking that it's important that we have to finish all that kind of things. We usually people say, "Oh, this is about something, some other person. It's not uh, about me, so I don't, I'm not going to do anything." No, it's important for us as human beings to say, "No, we will not tolerate this kind of things." So let's fight this bullying in, in every way let's fight domestic violence because people should live happier happy in the world so this yes, is something yes. that i like to to show everyone yes and also how many people sadly they suicide they commit suicide because of the pressure of the bullying and yeah. how they affect their self-esteem especially when they're i suffer from bullying when i was and and uh, since elementary even uh, and, mm -hmm. and in in the most bullying uh, i suffer wasn't at work and previous jobs that i had before because uh, me english accent or because the way i'm thinking or maybe because a little bit different and it's, it's very hard because it somehow affect your esteem i understand completely uh, the, the 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 sad situation about bullying because i suffer that since I was in elementary, even mm -hmm. at my, uh, in, in previous jobs that I had, having, having uh, bullying directly from my supervisors, previous supervisors, do it for because they didn't like my English accent or simply because my way of thinking was different. And with the collaboration with some of the co-workers, it's so sad how these things affect people out of steam, self-esteem, yes. Yeah, yeah. It, it makes people go down uh, because of that. And, and that's why it's important to create movies. And this is something that I usually say to my director friends. Let's create movies that make people think. Uh, because usually, and I'm not against that because I also like to do commercial uh, projects. But sometimes I say it's important to make movies to make people think. Uh, because uh, otherwise we will tolerate all of the things and this is not so, so good and this is like the the animal part of human beings they like to make bad things so that's why it's important to create this kind of project not only the one like i did but other projects to mm -hmm. to to make people think and for me it's important and cinema and art it's important and it's really good about this because it makes people think and not accept anything that they gave us. Exactly, exactly. 
And also, um, when I was visiting your website, I saw that you make um, a short for about India for a port uh, a Portuguese uh, tourist visiting yeah. India for the first time. Yeah. What about that? Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Yeah, it, it was a, a short documentary that I did when I was in the first time in, in India uh, because I, I was invited to present my, my movie A Pared that won there won awards. Mm -hmm. And I thought I thought about that and I said, okay, I'm going to do a, a documentary because this is a, a reality totally different from mine because it's a different continent, it's a different country, different reality. Mm -hmm. I'm going to record. And then that was the result showing uh, in, a, in a true way without any different approach. I just wanted to show what is the reality. And something that's really good that when I show this documentary to people, they say, wow, this is the India that I know. And I said, okay, so this is, it was a, a great show that I did. So I didn't Fantastic. want to create no, I'm going to show the beautiful part in India. I'm just going to show the bad things. No, I showed everything. So this is why the documentary also won a lot of awards, probably 50 awards, I think. Mm -hmm. it's, um, on my opinion, India is a very magical place. Like you said, it's like a totally different. Um, I have friends that have been, have, they have been travel many places of the um, worldwide, many places over the world. And they say, oh, no, Angela, India is something else. It's a place you mm -hmm. have to go. You know, the yeah. culture, the, uh, everything, the, the history, everything behind. And like you said, the, the living style is completely and somehow kind of very different, but it's pretty adventure to go and visit over there. I have wonderful yeah, friends yeah. from them and I love them so much. And yes, and it's, and it's, uh, it's a wonderful how Bollywood is growing, it's getting, you know, beautiful production people over there. Uh, yes, it's one of the countries yeah. absolutely it's on my list to visit. <laughs> exactly. And it's a so rich country, rich in people, rich in culture, rich in uh, story, uh, in history. It's a, a fantastic country. And for example, I usually when I talk about that documentary, I like to say something about one uh, one person that I met there, a woman that was putting rice on the road to cook the, the rice so they can uh, take that, uh, prepare it to go to, to sell it to restaurants and other places. And one of the guides, one friend from the Portuguese uh, institutes, uh, talked with her and so she could send, uh, show us the rice, how it worked. And she was so happy to show us that she knew how to do that and in a humble way. And I said, well, for me, this is so beautiful. The smile of that person is so amazing. I say, well, sometimes we are discussing that, uh, okay, I don't have money or I want to have a computer, I want to have a mobile phone. And that person was so happy to show me how th they cook the rice on the road. So this wow. is for me, it's it's gold. And for me, it's like a, an experience of, of life that to say that sometimes people are more interested in the material ways and material things. And mm -hmm. there are something that's more important that, that, than, than that. So this is something that I really like and I like to, to Tell uh, uh, to tell that to people and say, okay, sometimes we have to see these kind of uh, things to uh, make uh, life a different way and to make things uh, really different. Yes, uh, there's another thing that India is very famous because of the spiritual uh, beliefs they have because they have a mature spiritual uh, uh, disciplines they follow. And I have the fortune that I have, uh, when I, I, I have my master's degree in information technology and computer science and most people and um, most of my uh, ex-classmates were from India. And it was fantastic to see because I graduated from different disciplines as an economist, totally different. And I had to start like a, start from the beginning. And I had a hard times to be honest when I did my master's and see my ex-classmates that Angela, what do you need? What do you need? I help with this. I help with that. So amazing. They always help yeah. you know, they're always there to help you. And 
very lovely people. And for those people that are watching us, eh, big greetings and hugs from Texas <laughs> to, to India. Yes, wonderful people. Yeah. And also I, I saw that they, they have um, a film, the culture mentation, Cuatro Estaciones or Four Seasons. Yeah inspired with the, in the COVID-19 in, pandemic in Puerto Portugal. We have two movies, I, I have two movies uh, with that name. One with uh, four written and one in, with four number. Uh, mm -hmm. And they are two different, two different projects. One was an artistic project that I did in mm -hmm. 2017, I think. And during the pandemic, I did one movie that's called Four Seasons with a, a great screenwriter. It's called Andre Coelho. He's a big friend of mine. And we this this is like to thank people that work during the pandemic, people from the hospitals, the policemen, the firemen, everyone that was so important to us. And I wanted to show my appreciation. And with that, I did a movie about a doctor that he's uh, alone in an apartment and this is something that happened a lot not only in my my country but all over the world and this is like a retrospective that he is thinking about the things that happened during the time that he was in the hospital mm -hmm. and the time that he had to decide that who lived and who died so this is a really intense movie and this movie it's a new movie. In fact, it's going to, uh, it, now. It's going to to the to film festival. So it's a, a fantastic movie. I show images about the city where I live in Porto, uh, where nowadays we see the city with a lot of people. But then I show the city without anyone, only birds and winds, nothing else. So oh. it's a really yeah. And when people know that the, the city of Porto, they know that a lot of movement, a lot of people, a lot of tourists, and to see the city without anyone, a really grey city, people say, well, this is really intense. And and also we did an original soundtrack. We have a, a, a music composer from, it's a friend, also a friend of ours, that he did a fantastic uh, soundtrack, original soundtrack, inspired with the Portuguese uh, fado and related to classic music. So it's a fantastic movie and I really enjoyed doing that movie. Looking forward to watch it. So in other words, you could be able to film during the pandemic time, 2020, 2021, you did start making the reco recopilations? Yeah, uh, I, I, can, I can say, uh, enter, interesting story during mm -hmm. 2020 so the beginning of the pandemic when i started to shoot the images in the city without anyone uh, something curious happened because you no know, one could go outside uh, if we if we went outside we can only go a few feet around the our place but i said no i'm going to the city uh, where i live i'm going to shoot a lot of things and in one of those days, because I shot during the day and during the night, and in one of those days, the police, uh, the policemen uh, were seeing what people were doing, and they said, "Okay, stop. Uh, why are you outside your place?" And I said, "Okay, I'm doing some uh, recording, some footage because I'm doing a, a movie about uh, and to thank uh, people that are working in the pandemic to to fight against this policemen, firemen, people from hospitals." And he said, "Okay, thank you. So, if you want to do some shootings, there are some places over there and over there that are really good for you, and you can get fantastic images." And I said, "Okay, thank you." <laughs> So this is something that was really, really interesting to to do during that time. Yes, exactly. I don't know. Uh, there's a friend of mine. He's a fabulous filmmaker, uh, Howard Ford from United Kingdom, and he he yeah. make a feature film called The Lockdown Hunting, and he he did everything by himself because it was impossible back in the day to to do the crew and the, and and you know 
you, if you watch the film, it's a, it's a, it's a oral movie. And, and he also mm -hmm. showed the empty, you know, in United, in, in UK and all these things. So it's a movie I recommend for you to watch if you like horror movies. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's a, it's, it, yeah. it was fantastic to for him. So people like you, like him, like putting your risk. And sometimes I don't want to say not follow the guidance, but it's, I remember this says strictly no films, uh, nobody is allowed to do films, nobody to do this, no artistic um, um, events, nothing at all. And I see that you come up, you, you, you take the advantage, okay, let me make something, let me record it, even with not allow it, he did the same. So, wow, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> we are artists, we are artists. Sometimes yes. we have to break rules. Of course, respecting everyone because we have to respect everyone, but this are, is something that's not going to do anything bad to anyone. So that's why me and other directors said, no, let's do some things like this. Exactly, exactly. No, but that's the beauty of the human beings. Like I said to you earlier, that um, the artistic way is like, um, it's kind of the, the sparkly of the, the soul that we have as a human. And, and it was a nightmare back in the day, but at the same time, something history is very, was historical. And when the, when the time passed, we see documentaries of films like his, like yours, we start, we don't realize all the, the, the adventure combined with the, with the nightmare at the same time we experienced, it was worldwide. We nobody, nobody was expected. Actually, I was in London and when officially make the announcement, the OMS is pandemic, and I have to get a flight just the following day because the president back in the day, Donald Trump says, we're going to shut down the country on Friday. I was, uh, I, I just got a flight on Thursday. Fly so fast, oh my goodness, something I will never forget. <laughs> yeah, it was a really great adventure in the times. <laughs> You know what? And I'm thinking I would like to make a short film about mix my experience and withdraw airport and what I faced that with my, I was myself. There was no friends with me. I was by myself. Uh, yeah. And when I saw that, and this reminds me like a Titanic situation <laughs> somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, no, no. And so yes. what additional projects are you working on? I know you're in the festivals and also you're working hard. You, 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 you mentioned about your, your company, a uh, media company that yes. you're involved with many projects. Besides that, what other projects are you working on? Uh, I'm working in several projects. Uh, I'm doing a TV series about fear. It's mm -hmm. a really interesting project. It's a co-production with uh, Portugal and Spain. So it's a, a a TV series about about like I said about fear in different types of fear of course, and also I'm preparing two feature films, one in the United States. So it's it's going to be my first experience in Hollywood because we are going to do a a, a feature film because my now my agent is from there. It's called Ben Nosin. So it's a, a great producer and my, also my agent. And then I'm going to do uh, this feature film there in the uh, United States. And also I'm doing, um, I'm doing, of course, the pre-production of my also other feature film related to the world of soccer. So mm. uh, soccer or football. So people in Europe say football, in the United States say soccer. So it's about that, not about football players, Playing, uh, playing football, but about the business that everyone wants to know and no one knows, uh, knows anything about that. But in a, in a good way, and how can I say in a good way? So uh, imagine like Wolf of Wall Street. For them that are inside that world, this is everything it's honest, everything it's like it is, this is not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. But people that are outside, even from the law say no that's illegal you cannot do that but they say no for us this is how the world works we sell players we buy teams we go to several parties a lot of crazy things 
but this mm -hmm. is our world. You won't understand that because you are not from this world. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So it's, a, it's an interesting project because everyone likes that kind of topic. So it's going to be, and it's going to be, of course, a great movie because we have four countries uh, in this project, Portugal, Spain, France and Morocco. So it's awesome. a big, big uh, future film also. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be uh, a fantastic, two fantastic projects. Of course, I have more projects, but I think these ones are going to be the big ones. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations, Dr. Uh, Costa, for your achievements. Uh, your, I, I see when I was reading your curriculum, I was, oh, he's, uh, very, this young man uh, is up and down, up and down. You're living all this experience and what a beautiful journey you're, you're, you're living. So, and thank you. You know what beautiful honor you're spending your valuable time in my show. <laughs> And looking forward to see your films, uh, all of them you mentioned, because I like your very selected topics. I love those selected, but yeah. before that, you're very inspirational. And yeah. looking forward to meeting with you, you know, follow up with your, uh, with your career. And when you, when you go to Hollywood and in India and when everything, so just keep me posted. So you're, you're always welcome yeah, course, to my show. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for me. It's, it's a great honor to, to talk with you and to, to say uh, and to, to show my, my curriculum, to show what I do. And it's really good. And yeah, your fun. invitation. Yes, no, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Ask me and I can uh, be in other interviews, whatever you, know, whatever you need. Fantastic. So no, fantastic. Thanks to you. And the last question I asked to all my guests, um, what advice you would like you, you, you would like to share to those people who wants to be in the in the, in, in the entertainment industry, especially in films, you're an academic um, professor uh, and also yeah. your live hands on experience. So what advice is you have a student in front of you and says, Dr. Costa, what can I do for me? A filmmaker, for example. Yeah, of course. Uh, what usually when I say this to my students, I say I'm going to give uh, my point of view. What it worked with me. This doesn't mean it's going to work with other people. But of course, uh, what's important uh, when people want to do films, want to do art, you will listen a lot of. People say it's really hard to do it. Uh, you won't do any success if I were you. I would go to do other things. The the things that I say to my students and to other people, if it's your passion, do it. But do it with passion, because of course this is uh, this uh, field of area. It's really hard. There are a lot of people. Exactly. It's not so easy to to do things. But if everything was easy, life wouldn't make any sense. So exactly. the, uh, what I say to my students and to people, first of all, do it with passion. If you do it with passion, uh, everything will uh, go well. Also, use your identity. Otherwise, you will be the same as the other directors. So if you are European, if you are from India, wherever, use your identity. Show what, what's in your mind. Don't show what's in, in the other mind of other people. So this is also important, the identity of the director and do it. Don't wait for others to, to say to you, oh, it's hard, don't do it. No, do it. For Fantastic. me, the, the major thing is do it, do it with passion because things will happen well if you do like this. It's true, absolutely. And there's no perfect time to do it because sometimes we have a tendency in saying, when I'm more prepared, I'm going to do it. When I feel more prepared, I want to know. Just do it. Yeah. There's no right time. Yeah, just do it. <laughs> yeah, because if you are thinking about that, oh, this is not the right time. You won't have any right time. You have just to do it. Fantastic, fantastic. But thank you so much. It, yes. it can work bad. Yeah. Sometimes it can be bad, the result. Don't worry. Do, the next one will be better. So the important exactly. thing is to do. Exactly. It's just... it's. Is the 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 actually especially for the entertainment industry the rejection the failures is part of the journey and yeah. the consistency and 
the consistency and looking forward and no matter what is the final destination it's just the learning the journey learning uh yeah. the journey learning process yeah. to get to the final role yeah. that's that's yeah. the most important and, and, and i also say this to my students and to people you will you will uh, people will say a lot of no's to you but usually why don't i say negative plus negative it's positive so uh, you can listen a lot of negatives when people will say okay let's do it so Thanks. don't uh, uh, don't say no i'm not going to say, uh, do again because people said no no you will receive a lot of no's so continue be insistent to say no i want i want to do it i want to do it and in one day you will do it absolutely i agree with you 100 percent. thank you so much dr costa for your valuable time having you in my You're show is a priceless your wise uh, advice and your anecdote sharing this show. What can I say? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation.